Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin Road to Glory career mode. We've got four races left this season, starting today with the USA Grand Prix. It's going to be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for it. We could, in theory, wrap up the Drivers' Championship today. Uh, we could go more than 75 points ahead uh, than Carlos Sainz, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we did already wrap up the Constructors' Championship uh, last time out, so it's been an unbelievable season. Uh, it's going to put massive pressure on us for next season, but hey, we'd rather it that way around, right? But uh, no, thank you for the incredible support. I know you guys are sticking by the series, uh, even though we've probably reached the pinnacle much quicker than we wanted to. It's going to be interesting over the next seasons to see whether we can actually maintain that. And, uh, you know, regulation changes again next season, particularly focusing on uh, the low and medium speed corners which is what our real strength has been in so it, it's kind of another reset next season it'll be interesting to see what teams uh manage to to do the right thing over the winter and get their cars into the the right shape but uh for now, we've got four more races of this season. We've got the battle between Pierre Gasly and Fernando Alonso. 28 points separating them at the moment. If Pierre Gasly wins every race from now, Alonso finishes second, then Fernando Alonso would win by the virtue of the fact that he has won eight races. Actually, Pierre Gasly would win it by one. <laughs> Pierre Gasly would actually win it because he'd be on nine wins uh to fernando's eight so it's still in gasly's hands he wins the final four races he becomes champion fernando alonso he just needs to win one more really and you would imagine that that will probably be enough um but that's assuming that we're going to finish one two and as we know our car is very much not the best on the grid now um you can see we're even 11th uh, for top speed low speed and high speed we're actually pretty good now but uh, medium speed dropping down and you know the the car's only fifth for one of the things there's no way that we should be winning races with that car uh but we will try our best we will uh try and do it strategically luckily i think carlos Sainz is going to be too far back now he's 76 points behind alonso so if alonso outscores Sainz at the next grand prix we are guaranteed to win the drivers championship and have the double which is unbelievable but anyway, let's immerse ourselves into the action. Uh, so Patrick Stafford's still very, very happy with us. Uh, the Japanese Grand Prix last time out was, was great. It was big mistakes from uh, the likes of Carlos Sainz and, of course, um, Charles Leclerc and uh, Max Verstappen as well. Uh, let's upgrade his defendant and uh, Fernando Alonso. What are we going to go for now? We'll go cornering. He's going to be pretty close to an 89 rated driver very soon. Smoothness for Piastri. Uh, staff wise, head of aerodynamics. Let's get that done. So, Martin Werner now a 75 rated uh, guy. Uh, a couple of people were saying you need to start scouting um, some new staff. And, and basically, what I've done, I, I've went for Ferrari's uh, technical chief. I want to bring him in. At the end of the season, his uh, contract runs out at the end of the year. Uh, we haven't bothered looking at Simona Rester or, or uh, Matt Harmon, but uh, his contract is running out, so we'll try and get him at the end of the year. Head of Aerodynamics, meanwhile, uh, we are looking at... Uh, who were we looking at again? Yes, uh, Alessandro Cinelli, who is 81 rated, two months left on his contract. Uh, just double checking. I mean, I suppose we could look at Dirk De Beer. So let's get a scout report on him. Um, but yeah, Alessandro Cinelli is, is going to be the best possible one there. Uh, race engineer wise, we are going to try and get Pete Bonington and uh, Riccardo Moscone, uh, both from Mercedes. Uh, Gian Piero Lambiassi, I suppose, as well. Uh, let's get him uh scouted and uh, maybe ricardo adami as well 
let's see what he can do. But yeah, we're, we're in a good place. I think drivers wise, we're pretty much decided on just sticking with the same guys next season. The only thing is, do we replace Fernando with Lewis? That's uh, one thing I could, I could look at doing. Uh, but I do want to keep Pierre Gasly around. I think he is going to be the future of the team. But, uh, oh, uh, I quite like the idea of bringing Lewis in to replace Fernando. Um, I don't particularly want a 38-year-old and a 42-year-old at, at the team. Uh, <laughs> oh, but then Alonso's probably going to win the, the title. But I love the idea of bringing in Lewis and, and Pete Bonington. Uh to Aston Martin that would be so cool but Lewis is going to cost an arm and a leg that's what we have to remember in all this right let's uh, continue on so our research should be complete pretty soon um, race preview of course we're 174 points ahead so we have won the constructors um, and Alonso 28 points ahead in the drivers standing so let's uh, do a couple of guarantees we'll guarantee that they both get through to Q3 uh, uh, sorry, Q2 and uh, both qualify at least 10th. Uh, we will also guarantee that both drivers will finish in the top 10. And that'll give us a little bit more money and we're uh, pretty close to getting those potential rewards as well. Right, let's get into the USA Grand Prix then and see how we get on. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome to the United States Grand Prix. We're in Austin, but there are no wild cowboys on the track this weekend. Just some serious horsepower. It's sure to be a race to remember. The Circuit of the Americas has it all. Twists and turns, steep climbs, fast corners, and a power-hungry sector two. Quite a headache to balance, even if teams will be looking at maximizing downforce overall. This is it. We're down to the last few races of the season, and it's time for that final push. Who will be crowned champion at the end of it all? We'll find out soon enough. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. Right then, into the weekend we go. And once again, it looks like it's going to be a rainy day on Sunday, just like last year. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Looks like it's going to be clear for practice and qualifying. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I thought this weekend uh, we'd do a little bit of practice gameplay as well. We'll swap uh, Pierre Gasly out for Oscar Piastri. And to be honest with you, I have just been simulating practice. Uh, we've been getting pretty close with our setups. Uh, and it just saves me a little bit of time. Now that I'm back at work, it is nice uh to be able to have you know a little shorter episode than than what we were having before because practice does take a good you know 10 15 minutes if you do it properly um and i don't think we've been losing out really there was one race where it it went wrong but other than that we're fine but yeah, just to make sure that we keep it daily, I like to just zip through this bit, essentially. So that's where we're going with it. We put that on the car and then we simulate FP1 and the, the setups are always terrible after FP1. But let's have a look at where we are. So 4th and 11th, but you can see how close it is. But Piastri, a, a long way off is... Uh, teammate Fernando Alonso there uh, but Red Bull looking good Ferrari looking good Mercedes seem to be back as well Perez is is having an awful time at Red Bull but you can see setup confidence 44% not good uh, so let's let's see what we can do here so nicely they are optimal which is what you want to see um, that's probably going to be all right Maybe it's going to be more like that. But this is where it starts to get a little bit awkward. Yeah, that might be a lot better. To be honest with you. Probably do something like that and then, yep. Yeah. 
and now that's looking a lot better. So Gasly's car seems okay. Uh, yeah, need a little bit more front wing there. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, we'll give we'll give that a go. Yeah, let's give that a go for P2, and you should see a, a big step up in terms of our confidence. Wow, Gasly quickest and Fernando Alonso in third. I'm not expecting that to be qualifying pace, but that's a lot better. So there you go, 90 and, and 70 now. Much easier. And then I do Hello, just tend you? to skip that bit from David Croft. The less I hear from him, the better. <laughs> Sorry, David, if you're watching. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, that, I mean, that's pretty damn good, isn't it? There's not, there's not really anything better that we can... We can do, although that should, in theory, get it pretty much optimal. Fernando, meanwhile, it's uh, this bit that's the big problem. So let's try and get that sorted out. Straight away. Yep, yeah, that looks pretty good, and then it's going to be a case of... Yeah, that looks that looks pretty pretty good. Right, let's get that simulated then. And they should at the very least be in the 90s, I would have thought. After that, uh, fourth and sixth in that session. Oh, Alonso's is only 81 percent, but it doesn't make a massive difference. You know, we we lose out on a couple of uh, attributes, but you're talking about an 88 rated driver and it and it uh, and an 86 rated driver. They're not gonna struggle in qualifying but uh, speaking of which let's see how we get on so you can see Gasly, uh, yeah it's this here which we can actually sort out yeah, that's going to be more like it I think for, for Gasly uh, and Alonso meanwhile yeah, annoyingly, it's going to be more like that, and then... Yeah, that's looking pretty good, actually. That might be optimal, so... Yeah, we can, uh, we can, we can do it now. So, let's pop uh, the newest engine in. I'm going to try and do that all the way to the end of the season now. I think we've managed them quite well this year. Obviously, we had the advantage with Alonso that he started at pretty much at the back anyway in one of his races, so we were able to put a new engine in there. But uh, I think because we're not pushing every single lap of every single Grand Prix now, we can we can afford this. Um, and that's that's kind of where things went uh, this season. We've had more pace, so we haven't had to push as hard. But uh, let's get ourselves into qualifying. We'll simulate session one. See how they get on. Uh, fifth and sixth. It's looking like Red Bull and Ferrari are, are, are a little bit quicker than us at the moment. Lando Norris P7 there. Hamilton is, is struggling towards the, the back end of the season. Nico Hulkenberg start now. Qualify Sonoda as well. Which is very interesting to see. But uh, there you go. 95% 94% now. So... That is uh, pretty damn perfect, isn't it? Which uh, I'm very, very happy with. So let's get ourselves into Q2. Let's make sure that we're using the, the used tyres for this session. And let's see how we get on. Here we go. Radio check. I think it's okay. Green light, green light. And where's the expected traffic going to be? Um, yeah, I think, uh, to be honest, because we should have pace, I want it to be around about here that we head out. Because we should have the pace to do this in one lap. And therefore not use as, as much tyres. Okay. 
So let's keep an eye on it. And there is the top ten at the moment. Lewis Hamilton has gone quickest. Right, so let's pause it. Let's get them out there. Let's get Alonso out there as well. And they should be able to get back round before anybody thinks about coming out again oh no oh no some people oh no this is a disaster this is a disaster well Gasly's gonna be out what about Alonso I don't know his gas I mean so happy to let these guys cool a bit right, well let's get him to the, the front of the queue how much fuel has he got? I mean, yeah, let's just take control. We're going to fully conserve, we're going to harvest, we're going to conserve. Okay. We need to get him past. But yeah, there you go. So Alonso struggling too. And. We've got loads of energy. Come on, guys, sweet. Okay. Save fuel. Okay. Can we get past the Ferrari? Energy's good. Yep, yeah, copy. Let's deploy. So we just need to push now. Okay. Attack. Push. Deploy. Push a bit more. Understood. And then we need to make sure we cancel the car coming in. No saving required. So here we go. Use energy if you need. Yeah. So we should be able to, to do this here. There you go, 14th and 15th. As it stands, there is an Alpha Tauri in the way of Fernando Alonso. Hopefully he'll be able to pass on the uh, on the back straight. Meanwhile Gasly's gone purple in sector one. Are we gonna have enough fuel? I think we should. We should be able to. Just have to go straight down to conserve. Oh, come on. Is he going to be able to get past? The checkered flag is now out. Don't know. Well, Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, he's following one of the Mercedes, so he should be all right. Alonso trapped behind Joe Guan Yu. Back on board, yeah. This, that could be a problem for Fernando. But anyway, here we go. We've got a Mercedes coming up to the line. It's uh, George Russell. And Gasly goes P4 for now. So he goes ahead of George Russell. What about Alonso? Where's he going to finish? Oh, 14th. Wow, well. That was a, a big error, really, wasn't it? A big error. And I'm hoping Gasly doesn't just stop out on track. He's actually okay. Yeah, everybody comes through. And Gasly did make it, but Fernando Alonso, the championship leader, will be starting in P14 because of an error on my heart behalf of not letting him out there before he, he goes at pretty much the pace of Zhou Guan Yu. And that's why he got stuck in the end uh but there you go lewis hamilton quickest in that session 
Uh, Esteban Ocon doesn't get through either. He struggled. Hass, uh, with Hass's Kevin Magnussen and Daniel Ricciardo also don't make it through. So only one driver to focus on in Q3. And it's Pierre Gasly. And this is a huge opportunity for him now. To go... And get a big point dealt up on his teammate in the championship. It would be pretty huge if Gasly was able to win this race. And, well, it would be interesting to see how far Alonso would be able to get back into the points. So here we go. Pierre Gasly's first run at pole position. And this time, shouldn't have anywhere near the levels of traffic. There is still a Red Bull and a Mercedes in the way. So let's see what Pierre Gasly can manage here. He was purple in Sector 1 last time out. Well, that's worked out all right. Mercedes coming up. Hopefully the Mercedes will get well out of the way before the corner. Perfect. So Gasly shouldn't be too impeded by those two. I absolutely love uh, Kota, by the way. I think it's a great track. And there goes Pierre Gasly down this long straight. Of course, we haven't gone for straight line speed. We've gone for more pace in the first and middle sector. Uh, first and third sector. Purple through the first two at the moment. I think a Red Bull's coming through. Is he going to take purple? I don't think he is. I think Pierre Gasly is going to be in a very, very strong position. The two Ferraris coming through now. Are they going to get purple sectors? I don't think so. So Pierre Gasly coming round. The final corner, that's a 132.9, and I think that could be a strong contender for pole position by the looks of it. So let's zoom it forward. Let's see if Charles Leclerc can go purple in the middle sector. Well, somebody else, I think Hamilton might have gone purple in the, the first sector now. But, uh, well, there you go. So, Gasly, quickest Leclerc goes second. What about Lewis Hamilton? He's coming around the final corner now. Hamilton goes on to pole position. What a lap from the Mercedes. What about Russell? He comes up and he only goes fourth. So, Hamilton all of a sudden finds his pace. Now, of course, I think he's got a brand new engine. Uh, I think it said he had a... Did it say he had a, a grid penalty? Which is funny because he had one in the last race, of course. In Japan. But uh, yeah, currently Hamilton leads with Pierre Gasly in P2. But if if I'm right and Hamilton does have a penalty, then Pierre Gasly would assume pole position. So Russell and Hamilton lead in the way. They're going to be the first two over the line. Bottas and then Leclerc. So Leclerc's going to be hampered by Valerie Bottas. So I don't think Leclerc's in the battle here. So here, go, here we go then. Pierre Gasly is now on his flying lap. And what's he going to be able to do here? Can he go quicker in sector one of course no red bull to get past this time and he does go slightly quicker so 24.8 in the first sector how's that match it up to hamilton it's pretty much bob on pretty much bob on we've got russell he's going to be coming around the final couple of corners now what we aiming for in terms of middle sector so 37 6 from hamilton and here we go then, George Russell comes up to the line, where's he going to go? He goes third, Hamilton goes over the line, does he improve? No. What about Leclerc? Leclerc comes over the line, he's only fourth. What about Vettel? 
Vettel comes over the line. He goes eighth. A 37-6 there. This is going to be so close between Gasly and Hamilton. It's all going to come down to this final corner. What can Perez do? Uh, Sainz has gone third. What about Perez? Stays ninth. So Perez still slow. But here we go with Pierre Gasly. It is going to be an improvement. Is he going to improve enough to take pole position? Here we go with Pierre Gasly up to the line. It's a 32.8 which isn't enough it's a tenth and a half off pole position but i think if hamilton does have that grid penalty that we talked about he will be on pole tomorrow and yes hamilton does have that grid penalty that i mentioned so pierre gasly will be starting on pole position fernando alonso will be starting down in 14th unbelievable tension continues to build here as race day begins there was some astonishing work from aston martin during qualifying and their drivers are now poised to have a very strong race start. We saw a solid qualifying performance from Ferrari, and they're sure to have their chance to push even further during the race. And the weather is sunny here today, apart from a few clouds. Let's hope they remain scattered on the horizon. No doubt there's a lot to contend with here at the United States Grand Prix. It's going to be a thrilling outcome to a thrilling weekend. Well, it's nervy. And it's about being able to set up Fernando Alonso to get back into this race. It is going to rain at some point. When is it? Oh, later on in the race. That is huge. That is huge. Uh, now, tyre wear is a bit of a, a struggle here. So, um, potentially a, a, a soft then medium. Uh, or a medium then soft from Gasly. A little bit more... And if we were to attack, where could we get to in this race? Oof. Yeah, what about with aggressive driving? And that's not going to make it, so I think it is going to have to be a gentle race from Pierre Gasly. Um, to get up to the, the rainy conditions. Uh, and then I'm presuming... It is going to rain for the rest of the race, so we're going to go in immediate. So are we going to go wet? Perhaps we go wet. And that will take us all the way to the end of the race, because uh, intermediates might have to have another stop. So that's what we're going to do with Pierre. Now, Fernando, because he's starting out of position... I'm actually going to go uh, hard tyres first up. Can he make it to uh, wet weather? He probably can. So with Alonso, we're going to do that and see what he can what he can pull off here. So we're going to shove a load of extra fuel in the car. But uh, ultimately, our guys are not going to be able to attack early on in this race. So we're going to rely on our engine and our strategy. So let's get into it. Here we go. The drivers there lined up on the grid under mostly sunny skies. And there we have Pierre Gasly. He won today. Let's see if they can take advantage of that position. And here's Alonso the team's second driver. They're starting in the bottom half of the grid today, so there's a lot of cars between them and the podium. And we're just moments away now. Here we go then. Sit tight and get ready. It's the United States Grand Prix. And it's lights, lights out. out, away we and go. Away we go. And it's a great start from Carlos Sainz in P2. He's going to have a little look down the inside of Pierre Gasly for the lead. But Gasly holds on. But there's Carlos Sainz. He's going to still have a little look here. But Gasly manages to hang on to his position still a lot to from the start of this Grand Prix. We're going to go on to deploy with Pierre Gasly and try and break that one second window. Okay. He's done the first thing. He's 
managed to get past but Fernando by the way he's lost a position to Esteban Ocon let's have a look at tyre oh we've got yellow flags what has happened somebody I think it's Mick Schumacher yeah, yeah. yeah Mick Schumacher has had a spin so yeah but nobody's on hard tyres I would say perhaps most of the field on mediums uh, and a few on softs particularly front runners but uh, Pierre Gasly managing to build out that lead nicely at the start of this race he needs to get out of that one second window to signs behind and then hopefully he'll be able to push on from there outside of that DRS zone so this is very very good from Gasly so far already a second ahead this is exactly what he needed to do. He needed to push hard early on, rely on the energy, rely on the engine. That gives him a, a great start to this USA Grand Prix. Fernando Alonso coming around the final corner. He's still trying to get past Esteban Ocon, but if anything, he's losing time to Ocon. 1.1 seconds is the gap for Pierre Gasly. And we'll keep pushing that throughout the next couple of laps. Fernando Alonso staying with Ocon in that middle sector, or first sector, sorry. Those S's. And Alonso needs to do what Gasly did last time. He needs to stay within. 20 seconds he's going to do one less pit stop and hope that strategy helps him out but he could very easily find himself in a massive DRS train as Pierre Gasly checking out at the front 1.6 seconds ahead of Carlos Sainz in P2 of course he is using his deployment you don't want to use all of that of course yeah, he's doing a, a, a good job building out that lead so let's move it down to neutral now he's out of the one second window that was the the main thing that we were looking for meanwhile Fernando Alonso still stuck behind Esteban Ocon hopefully once DRS becomes active he is going to be able to to do something will be active. so we go Pierre Gasly leads Carlos Sainz is in second place. We've then got Russell in P3. Leclerc P4 just behind Lewis Hamilton in P5 at the minute. Verstappen battling with uh, Valtteri Bottas for sixth and seventh. Norris is in eighth with uh, Perez in ninth now. And uh, Daniel Ricciardo rounds out the top ten. Vettel has dropped back a little bit. He's P11. Zhou Guanyu is P12. Magnussen P13. Ocon 14th. And Fernando Alonso now 15th. We're going to go into overtake mode with Fernando. And we're hopefully going to be able to get him to make a move here on Ocon with the DRS. Oh, we thought he was having a little look there. Decided against it. But here we go. He's going to use overtake. He's going to use the DRS. He's going to close in. But there you go, you see, DRS train. It's not making any impact whatsoever. A little dummy look there, but nothing positive. So, time to zoom it forward a little bit. Alonso could be in a lot of trouble here. This could make a massive dent on his championship chances. Use overtake. Copy. We're talking about being able to guarantee the Drivers' World Championship today. I don't think that's going to happen, unless, although this race is going to be a bit of a crazy one later on. So I'll stick using overtake at the moment. Try and stay nice and close to. Esteban. Oh, 
Needs a nice clean exit. And that's exactly what he gets. This is good. He's now closing in a little bit, but not enough. Something for Alonso. It might just be a case of stay in this DRS fuel, train and then Copy. push when they've all come into the pits. And that's going to be his plan. We're going to move uh, Gasly back to balance now Follow as well. Fuel, so you can do what you want for speed. Yeah, copy. And it's 2.1 ahead of Carlos Sainz now. Sainz could well close that gap. But shouldn't do it very quickly. So 1.8 ahead at the moment. And now we can see Hamilton is past Leclerc. I think Hamilton is past his teammate, so Hamilton's going to be a big threat in this race. He was by far the quickest driver on track throughout the weekend. Let's push the fuel again, try and eke out a gap to Carlos Sainz again. It's getting a little bit too close to the one second window for my liking. But yeah, Fernando in a, a big pickle. Russell now up into P2, so they're all in a bit of a battle here. Yeah. Need to be very careful on fuel. Might have to think about. Slightly up in the, the aggression. Hang on a second. Some people are in the pit lane. So, now it's time, I think, for Alonso to give us a, a little bit more and see if he can get past. Energy if you need it. Copy. So, he should be able to get past Ocon because I don't think Ocon's going to have DRS to his teammate. Well, he might do. And here we go. Already Alonso is going to have a look down the inside of Esteban Ocon. And that was lovely. And now he's going to have DRS as well. Good job. So this is a little bit more like it from Fernando. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. So Alonso into the top 10 needs to really get past Norris. That's Perez is just really slow. So we need to get up to and past Norris. That's P6, which wouldn't be too bad. But Carlos Sainz is in the pits. Sainz is in the pits. Uh, doesn't look like any other of the leaders are in but here we go we've got more use energy okay copy more of the alonso realm coming in now and is alonso going to come out ahead of signs yes he is so we'll keep it on neutral for now we just need to attack the next couple of laps really there's no need to take it any further than that and then it'll be about keeping these tires until the rain comes so I'm going to deploy again is Alonso going to have another look at the Alpine yes he is and he goes down the inside very nicely there now Vettel Managed to just about stay in front, but you can see Alonso has got more pace. And now got DRS, he's using energy. Is he going to be able to go down the inside here? He has a little look. And he is through. And that's what we needed to see. Good job. 
Oh, but uh, Vettel's still there. Is Alonso going to have to back out? No, but I think Vettel might have to. Oh, that was very close. Well, that's a good overtake perhaps, from Alpine. Perhaps now we need to just back off a little bit. Wait for the opportunity. There goes Vettel down the inside of Joe Guan Yu now. And we are going to have the chance on Vettel. Okay, and we are through. Very good. Because Vettel was slightly ahead of Joe. He didn't have DRS on Norris. And now Joe Guan Yu up to fifth place in this Grand Prix. Gasly like still Aston doing a good Martin job up ahead. Now, what's the, the gap to his teammate? The, the gap is 12 and a half seconds, so he's not actually that far behind here. He's within a pit stop. And that's kind of where he needs to be. So, starting to look a little bit better for Fernando. But it all depends on the rain. What happens with that? So there goes Norris. He's going to get straight back past Joe Guan Yu. Fernando Alonso could have a, a little opportunity here. Look at this. Goes down the inside of Norris. And he's through on Lando. I would imagine Norris Good is job. still there. Yep. Yeah. I think we need to maybe deploy. Yeah, I don't have that base. I think Norris is still, still there. Alonso through job. now. No saving required. And he should be able to get past okay, Zhou Guan Yu. So here we go. And we're going to attack for the next couple of laps to get that one second window. Good, come on. This is much better from Fernando. So he spent a few laps down in the doldrums, but now he's got clear air. He should be able to show his pace. He's now more than a second ahead of Zhou Guan Yu, so we'll drop everything back. Should be able to pull away now. Meanwhile, Pierre Gasly 1.1 ahead of George Russell. Now, these guys are on medium tyres too, so they, this is genuine battling for position. Now, it's whether we want to change the strategy of, of Gasly. I don't think there's any point going on to the soft tyres. I think if we go medium and attack then we should be able to come in perhaps a little bit earlier. Yeah, let's go for that. Just going to allow Gasly to attack a little bit here. We just need to push now. The tyres are happy to push. So Charles Leclerc is in. So we're inside the pit window. We've got a couple of more laps. Alonso, meanwhile, up to fourth place. On his hard tyres. Alonso, remember, waiting out there until the rain comes. So let's uh, head back to the interval. Russell is catching. That's his Hamilton, but... Oh, they're both in the pits, goodness me. Let's hop on board. Russell was in first, and it, they were double stacking. 
Wow, that's a big mistake from Mercedes on Hamilton. So Hamilton is going to have to now fight his way back past Leclerc and Sainz. I think Sainz is going to pass Leclerc. There's uh, Russell. Oh, the Ferraris have got both Mercedes. Well, well, well. It looks like Hamilton has come out just ahead of Verstappen, so that's a bit of a relief for them. But we're now running one and two. So let's keep pushing hard on these tyres. Alonso seemingly not losing out too much here. Well, here we go then. So on to our new strategy, we're going on to the brand new medium tyres and we're going to be attacking until the rain comes. Essentially. Looks like everybody out there is onto the medium tyres, so... That's what we got to do. Ocon's in. And Hamilton's just been passed by Verstappen. He will be furious with his team... So Gasly is going to be coming into the pits this lap. Alonso is going to assume the lead of the Grand Prix. Yeah, now, is Gasly going to come Couple. out ahead of the, the Ferraris? The Ferraris seem to have been rapid here. So here we go. Gasly in. Onto the brand new medium tyres. And he is away. And there goes Alonso into the lead. Gasly leaving the pit lane now, but this is going to be very, very close. Very, very close with the Ferraris. Oh, just in front. Wow. So time now for Gasly to bolt and use those tyres as much as he can. And Alonso, meanwhile, 5.7 seconds ahead of his teammate. Of course, Alonso not coming into the pits until the wet tyres. So Alonso has, has managed to battle his way up to the lead. And he's on, in theory, the same tyres now as everybody else. So he is in a good position, but obviously those tyres are, are going to degrade very, very quickly in the next few laps so it's sort of skewed at the moment but I think he's probably got himself up to fifth in reality with this clear air but this is all banking on the fact that that weather forecast is not going to change well Gasly That's it. Gasly now under pressure from the guys behind, and this is this is showing us this is not as much pace as we thought. For Gasly, so now there goes Carlos Sainz with the DRS. Is he going to be able to make a move on Gasly here? Not yet. Imagine by the time they get to the next straight, that's where Gasly's going to be vulnerable. Somebody has spun. Don't know who. Single yellow. Sure, I knew. What a shame for him. He was having a, a, a terrific race. Yeah, Gasly survives again. There goes Sainz round the outside and he makes the move stick but Gasly still in there. Side by side through the S's. This is going to be so close. Oh, well. And Ferrari just gained a place. Sainz is fine. Sainz is through. And of course, Gasly is going to have the chance again. We are expecting rain pretty soon. Okay. They're all 
the while catching up to Fernando Alonso. It was just 2.7 seconds ahead now, but Gasly's going to have DRS. He's going to have another chance at getting past Charles Leclerc. Uh, sorry, Carlos Sainz here, and he is through very nicely. And that DRS, of course, will give him the advantage on Fernando Alonso. So let's Looks keep like going. Martin have just gained a race position. Sainz going to make it back through. Not this time. But now 1.5 behind Fernando. So when is this wet weather coming? very very soon this is going to allow Gasly to get past Fernando here so we go Gasly's past now is Fernando going to be able to Stay ahead of Carlos. I don't think so. And, but sounds right behind him. So Gasly still needs to be pushing. Don't think that the rain is coming just yet. Oh, there is a small sprinkling of rain. So yeah. Rain has started. Realistically, it's going to go above one here. Right, I'm going to keep Gasly out there. Alonso's going to come into the pits. He's going to go onto the wets this lap. I think Gasly has to as well. But Gasly stays out. Well, this could be a disaster for Pierre Gasly. Alonso is in. Sainz is in. But can Gasly now... Now's the time to absolutely push and try you can use and make sure that we're, we're all right. Fernando Alonso, he's exiting the pit lane. He's going to be behind. Oh, somebody's crashed. Somebody has crashed. I don't know where. But is that going to bring out a safety car? A crash. Let's have a look. Cars, Let's see what happened there. Now we see the Williams here. Oh, that's that's a big and crash. Hit, and it's crystal clear who was in the wrong there. And was that a Sonoda? Is it going to be a safety car? Apparently not. Don't really know how. But yeah, let's have a little look at tyres. Virtual safety car. Oh, so it's a VSC. So Alonso's on the wets. It looks like everybody else has gone for the intermediates. So that's what we're going to try with Gasly. No DRS. By the way, he's not on wet tyres. He is on mediums. It does say wet, but he, he isn't on them. So... This could change things a little bit here. Now this might allow Gasly to come, come in and get back out. 
head of that little group. So here we go. Virtual safety car ends soon. When is that going to go green? Because it is very important and it has gone green. So Gasly's back out there. Is he going to come out in front of those guys? They're coming past the pit lane now. It's going to be so close. And yes, Gasly has come out behind. But he has come out ahead of his teammate. And that's what he'll be most bothered about. Now, those tyres will certainly not last till the end of the Grand Prix. What if we were to change this strategy to being... That I mean, yeah, he is gonna have to come in again, isn't he? So, right, let's uh, let's say he's gonna attack and then go intermediate again. So, round about there. Yeah, that looks fine. So yeah. So Gasly's gonna attack. Fernando, meanwhile. Is gonna attack on his tyres, but come on, copy. Oh, here goes Gasly, by the way, down the inside, very good. And now, can he get past Carlos Sainz as well? This is huge, he's closing in. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. And somehow Hamilton has, uh, has very much been the winner through all of this. Take that off there. Let's head back on board again. You can use energy. Use energy. going to deploy the energy it. here. Yeah, that's it. So there goes Pierre. Now trying to push. Look there, though. We're following him very, very closely. And now deploy. So use energy. Yeah. Let's see how much he's closing in. Up the ante on the engine as well. You can stop lifting coast. Okay. No luck though. So zoom it forward. So Pierre Gasly round the final corner. He's run out of energy. Fernando Alonso. In theory, is the only one out there that doesn't have to stop again. There's going to be no way that you can take these in as all the way to the end. But Monzo sort of hoping that the rain gets worse. Otherwise, they are going to shred. See, they're already down to 85%. If you hover over that, that's yeah, that's a huge degra degradation. So, yeah, take it but easy. there we go, Gasly. Now Stop side it. by side. Look at this. We nearly missed that there. So use energy if you need. And now it. Pierre Gasly back into the lead of this okay. Grand Prix. And to be fair, he deserves it. He's done very, very well so far. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Yeah, I'm glad we switched the strategy up for Gasly because he was going to go on to the wet tyres and he'd have been in the same predicament as Alonso. As of course, Alonso isn't in an awful position, but his tyres are going to degrade pretty rapidly. So he's desperate really for rain to come need to charge here is yeah. okay. 
Gansley, 1.2 ahead. Just need to charge up. So let's uh, zoom it forward and hope that Gasly can harvest nicely. As we reach the halfway point in this Grand Prix. And you can see tyre-wise, Fernando is definitely going to struggle. Unless more rain comes. But he's got a, a decent gap. I think he'd probably come out just ahead of Max Verstappen. So, worst case scenario... That's where we go with it, but uh, yeah, trying to harvest all of the energy that we can. We're going to do the same with Fernando, actually. Good thing is Gasly is pulling out the gap at the same time as well. Uh, that'll just give us something to defend with if we need. We've got loads of energy. Yep. So Pierre Gasly leads this Grand Prix. He's starting to catch up to Nico Hulkenberg. Wow, the track drying up now. Alonso in real trouble. We're, uh, we're assuming that there's going to be more rain coming. Yeah. Might have to bring Fernando in this lap to go on to the intermediates now. He's going to come out in 8th place. Box, box. Okay, box, box. Fernando, you can see he's losing time massively. It was sort of worth the risk with Fernando because, you know, he, he started 14th. Anything's sort of a bonus for him. But that, my only concern is, are those tyres going to get to the end of the race? Let's just check on the strategy view. If we now edit his strategy. So he's going to come in this lap. And go on to the intermediate tyres. Pretty much now. If we go light, then that will that will work. So Fernando Alonso coming in this lap. We're going to go light now. Make sure that his uh, energy is fine. Luckily for Fernando, other people need to come in as well. So yeah, Fernando's coming in. It's a big decision because this could take him out of the points and that would be a huge blow to his championship. But I think those are the right tyres to be on. And if we can get to the end of the Grand Prix on them, then even better. But he, he looks like he might come out in sixth place here. Well, he has done. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. So... I think we need to push and deploy just to get him no saving required. plenty ahead of uh, Bottas now. He is gaining a little bit. Well, Pierre Gasly. Some lift and coast will help that. Normally, he's five seconds okay. ahead of Hamilton now, so. 
Building that lead nicely. To be honest, we can drop that down to aggressive now. Drop back a bit. Still should be able to get through. Yeah. So let's uh, push forward. Hopefully Alonso can be a decent amount ahead. And it looks like that's exactly what he is doing. quicker than, than Bottas in general so should continue to build that gap meanwhile Pierre Gasly five and a half seconds ahead at the front of the race still a little while before Gasly comes into the pit so we'll zoom it forward and yeah Alonso just crawling away from Bottas big thing for Fernando is that he's 30 seconds behind Gasly and Gasly has to pit again of course now other people might not come into the pits but they'll end up with really awful tyres at the end of the Grand Prix and the track drying up again We are expecting a bit of a sudden downpour, so we're just going to keep Gasly out there for a little bit. Assess what happens. Because we might need to bolt on a set of wets if it is a real bad downpour. The good thing is he's got five seconds on Lewis. No matter what happens. So he's got time to react. Okay, it is just a light drizzle at the moment. This is where we'd be thinking Gasly's going to come in. Ah, here we go. It's raining again now. All the tyres looking for people. Not bad. Yeah, I think we need to just keep going with Gasly for now. Is it going to get bad enough that wet tyres are required? No. I don't think so. So, Pierre is going to come in this lap. He's going to put on a new set of intermediate tyres and he's going to attack to the end. Box, box. Box, box. So, here we go. And where is Pierre going to come back out? I would imagine ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc. At the very least, he'll be ahead of his teammate, Fernando. So, Gasly into the pits now. And Lewis Hamilton will take the lead of this Grand Prix. Signs. Russell is next. Might actually come out ahead of George Russell. That would be... Very, very good. And I think he has done, because there's Russell going up the hill now. They're going to be side by side. I think Gasly's through. Let's uh, hop back on board with him, please. Yeah, there we go. So Gasly now ahead of George Russell. He's got 13 seconds to make up to Hamilton, but of course... Oh, somebody's locked up. Who's locked up? In sector three, it was one of the Alpha Tauris actually. Was that a lock up on the track? That was K Mag. Um, so we're actually going to push the fuel. If 
Fernando Alonso, meanwhile, in sixth place. 12 seconds behind Charles Leclerc. But we are assuming that maybe they'll have to come in. So, 13.4 seconds to Hamilton. Zoom it through and see where we get to with this. It's going to be very, very interesting. Let's keep an eye on everybody's tyres. In the 40s, we've got 11 laps to go. Wow, this is going to be incredible. Gasly is currently... 11.6 seconds behind Hamilton. This is why we harvested energy. We knew we may need it towards the end of the Grand Prix. 11 seconds now, the gap. Fernando Alonso in P6. He's going to be too far back today to, to challenge. Although, let's have a little look at how he's looking after his tyres. Pretty well. So, we might be able to attack with him for the last five laps or so. Um... But yeah, Gasly now 9.6 behind. Nine laps to go. It's going to have to make up pretty much a second a lap. So, luckily he is doing that. And to be honest with you, why don't we try and attack with Fernando? He's not going to be far behind... Leclerc by the end of the Grand Prix. Gasly now 7.6, so we'll keep that figure in mind when we get round here next time out. But I don't think the other guys are coming in. Let's have a look at their tyres. They're getting towards 30% now. They're going to be incredibly slow. In the next couple of laps. And it might mean Alonso, to be fair, has a bit of a chance as well. So Gasly now, right behind Carlos Sainz. Should be able to make a fairly straightforward move down the main straight. I'm going to pop that into deploy. Use energy if you need it, use energy. Okay. Oh, never quite got wet enough for uh, wet tyres, which has cost Fernando a pit stop, but he's done a great job to get up to sixth place. Can Gasly go down the inside here? It's close, but yes, he can. He is through now on Carlos Sainz. 4.5 behind leader Lewis Hamilton. There goes... Fernando Alonso, you can see Leclerc at the end of that pit straight. Leclerc on 34%. Let's move it down to aggressive. We need to make sure he's got yeah, some tyres by the end of the Grand Prix. Gasly now starting to close in on Lewis Hamilton. And this is going to be an unbelievable comeback if he can pull it off five laps to go Hamilton on 28% so Gasly is going to massively close in now and you can physically see that distance closing up 1.5 the gap Alonso now only 7 behind Charles Leclerc and Gasly now within a second of Lewis Hamilton how easily is he going to be able to get past here we'll go on to deploy use energy if you need yeah okay tyre wise everybody below 30 except five our two laps. drivers now five more laps got five laps to go yeah 
So here we go, Pierre Gasly now having a look around the outside of Lewis Hamilton, that's going to turn into the inside of the next corner. And Pierre Gasly retakes the lead of this Grand Prix. What a job he has done this race. He's been down, he's been out, but now he's back Looks like in the groove. Have just gained a race position. And what a what a performance from Pierre Gasly. And now he's gonna push on. Get away from Lewis Hamilton and he's gonna bring his championship back on essentially. Fernando Alonso, meanwhile, still out there. We can push a bit more if you can. Copy. Remember, if he outscores Carlos Sainz, we are guaranteed the driver's title. It's something pretty good anyway. It is something pretty good anyway. But yeah, Lewis Hamilton now 1.8 behind Pierre. What can Alonso do? Can he close in on Charles Leclerc? Probably not. We're going to now go standard with the tyres for Gasly. Make sure that we've got tyres left over at the end of the race. Alonso now 3.2 behind. Charles Leclerc. It's going to be very, very close Alonso of course isn't going to have as good tyres as Gasly by the end of the race but we have to push we have to try so Alonso now three laps to go he's within touching distance of Charles Leclerc we're now going to deploy okay, ERS copy. He could do with getting past Leclerc this lap. That gives him a lap and a bit to get past Russell. I don't think he's going to have quite enough to get past um, Car Carlos Sainz as well. So here we go. He goes round the in uh, the outside of Charles Leclerc. And it looks like Alonso is oh, going to be through. So Alonso up to fifth place now in this Grand Prix. Doing a, good job. Doing a really, really, really good job out there. And he's not too far behind George Russell either. What a job he has done. But Pierre Gasly now seven seconds ahead at the front. It shows what fresh tyres do for you. Especially intermediate tyres. Hamilton struggling. But there's two more laps to go. I don't. Th Surely Alonso cannot catch up to Sainz as well, but he, he'll bloody well give it a go. So here we go then. Fernando Alonso is going to make it up to fourth place. That obviously reduces the amount Gasly's going to reduce the gap by to around. Well, it was a 28 at the moment, and it'll now be 15, which is much more doable in three it's races. Good. And there goes Fernando. He's now past George Russell. I don't think Russell's going to have anything to fight with. But this is this is going to be this is good. Close now. Is Gasly going to have enough fuel? Rain risk is receding. Is Gasly going to have enough fuel? Okay. He's got 2.65 laps apparently, so just about enough. Well, four kilograms doesn't seem a lot to me for two more laps, but how quickly can Alonso catch up to signs? Meanwhile, Pierre Gasly nearly 10 seconds ahead at the top. And he's not attacking at all. So, this is so last, the final last, lap this of this last, Grand Prix has begun with Pierre Gasly. He's going to get the 25 points. And what a weekend he has had. He's been very, very quick. He was quick in qualifying, of course, Alonso.
would have been up there Ready. as well. We know for tires now. So we need to box. So five seconds is the gap, but now he's hit 30%. I think his pace will start to recede. He needs to make up five seconds on Carlos Sainz. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do that. Although, to be fair, look how much he's pulled out in just the first sector. This is going to be pretty close, you know. This is going to be very close. There's a second shaved off He's still got enough ERS deployment and that's Carlos Sainz there look how close Fernando has now made it 3.4 I think he's gonna just about run out of time here but what a fantastic effort Two point seven. It's the corners where he's making up the time. Because that's where Sainz has got much less grip. It's gonna be below two seconds here, but Pierre Gasly comes round, he wins okay, so here the in the United States. No, 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 I did that. That's incredible. It's going to be wow. Lewis Hamilton that comes round and he well finishes done, mate, second. Well Carlos Sainz is Stop going it. to hang on in the end. He's going to finish third and with the fastest lap. And Fernando Alonso, what a recovery from 14th Check on the grid. He finishes fourth. Okay, let's move on. And he'll be happy. Well done, guys. Good job. And P1, wait five seconds and P0. So Fernando Alonso finishes fourth, uh, Russell finishes fifth, Leclerc in sixth in the end, Bottas now coming round the final couple of corners, he's going to finish ahead of Max Verstappen, Bottas finishes seventh, Verstappen eighth, Norris now coming into the final section, he's just ahead of Ocon. So Norris is going to finish ninth and then Ocon in tenth. We got a, a decent gaggle of cars coming. We got Albon and Ricardo battling to the line. And then uh, K Mag is next over the line. He finishes 13th. Rain. And uh, Perez now coming round. He finishes 14th. Stroll still out and about. He's going to finish 15th. Vettel very disappointing in 16th. And Zhou Guan Yu, after a great opening stint will finish in 17th. He'll be disappointed with that. But there we go. Another victory for Pierre Gasly. Well, this weekend, Pierre Gasly flew us to the stars. A spot on the podium is exactly what the team deserved, and they got it. So Pierre Gasly wins ahead of Hamilton and Sainz. No podium for Fernando Alonso this time. The Frenchman was in sublime form today, fully deserving of his podium finish here. For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. Today, Aston Martin demonstrated that they can go very far indeed. I wouldn't be surprised if the team's performance today won them a lot of new fans. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. We're nearing the end of the season and it's time for some serious heat. Stay with us as Formula One moves to Mexico City. Well, there we have it then. Gasly wins once again. Two in a row for him now, and uh, brilliant from pole position. Lewis Hamilton finishes a great second, and, uh, well, it was the fact we pitted that meant that Hamilton 
didn't have a chance today. Uh, Carlos Sainz finishes third, Alonso in fourth, very, very close to taking third at the end of the Grand Prix. Russell finishes fifth, ahead of Leclerc in sixth, Bottas seventh, Verstappen eighth, Norris ninth, and Esteban Ocon finishes tenth. Uh, so there you go, we are pretty much guaranteed the driver's title. Um, signed 72 points behind, uh, 73 points with 75 points remaining. It would take a monumental effort from Sainz and Ferrari to win this title now. Uh, Pierre Gasly now just 15 points behind Fernando Alonso. It's in both of their hands. They could very much do it. And uh, we break the 600 point barrier uh, in the constructors, which is great. Now, Pierre Gasly uh, does not get a new development point. Neither does Fernando Alonso. And uh, Piastri does manage it, so that's very good for him. Uh, 4.3 million is what we make from this Grand Prix, so you've got to say things are going well, and uh, research now completed for next season uh, in terms of the front wing and our suspension, so we'll be able to uh, throw some new ideas and new research plans ahead going uh, into the next Grand Prix which is in Mexico. Now, if that race is anything like this one, it's going to be a cracker. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big like down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager content. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.